If you're running a hair salon, then you know that time is everything. And answering every single question from clients or prospective clients, well, that takes a lot of time. But what if you could have your own AI chatbot that handled all of that for you? From booking services, to product recommendations, to giving expert hair care tips, all without writing a single line of code. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build a custom AI chatbot for your hair salon. And yes, this is beginner friendly. By the end of this video, you'll have a 24 seven hair salon virtual assistant that will allow you to go back to doing what you do best, making sure your clients feel and look amazing. But what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Marketing with Dev. Make sure you guys give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop the video just like this one. Now, if you are a business owner or an entrepreneur and you wanna generate more leads and sales for your business, then click the link right now in the description and get instant access to my AI content machine, which will teach you how to make content that will help you generate more leads and sales for your business. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is create a knowledge document. And this knowledge document is going to be the source of all of the the answers that your GPT gives to anybody who interacts with it. So they need a source of information to pull from to be able to answer all of these questions, right? So this is the prompt that I put in to be able to get a full comprehensive knowledge document. So act as an expert custom GPT builder for local businesses. I own a hair salon located in Miami, Florida. I want to create a knowledge document that will power a custom GPT for my salon that does the following. One, answer all questions about our salon, including services, pricing, booking policies, and product offerings Two, recommend hairstyles based on a user's hair type, hair length, and texture. Three, recommend the best hair products we carry for their hair type, style goals, and concerns. Four, educate users on proper hair care based on their hair type, lifestyle, and Miami's climate. Five, help new and existing clients easily get advice in book services or buy products. Please generate a complete knowledge document formatted for easy upload into a custom GPT. And before we get into the response that we got for this knowledge document, just know that you're going to have to tweak and make edits to this document that you get based off of your own salon, right? So I'm just using an example of a random um, make-believe salon in Miami, Florida, just so you guys can actually have an example to see live in front of you. But for you, obviously, if your salon is not in Miami, then you need to adjust that and, you know, how it says educate user on proper hair care. If you don't live in Miami's climate, then it's going to be a little bit different, right? So you just need to understand that you're gonna have to make some of these edits to make it custom for your salon. So let's take a quick brief look at the knowledge document that we do get. So step one is the salon overview. So just salon name, location, specialties. The second section is services offered. So, and again, all of this information I'm not going to say it every single time, but I'm just going to say it now again. So you guys know that this applies for the entire rest of the video when we're dealing with a knowledge document or any type of information that we're putting in to the GPT, you are going to want to go over all of this stuff and make the adjustments based off your salon. So the services you offer, the description of your services, the starting prices of your services at your salon, booking notes, same thing with booking policies. And as we go to number three, your online link, your website link, your phone number, all of this stuff, deposit policy, cancellation policy, late policy, children policy, all of that stuff needs to be yours, right? So kind of ignore it, how they have it here, because unless it's the same at your salon, if it's not, then you're gonna make those changes so it fits yours. And going down to four product offerings, recommendations. So we're gonna have the names and the brands that you have and you know, the types of things that they do. So anti-frizz, curl enhancing, things like that. Going down to product matching by hair type and concern. This is how it's the GPT is actually going to be able to actually um, make its recommendations. So if they have straight hair, fine texture, and they have flatness and oilness, then they will get lightweight volumizing shampoo, dry texturizing spray, and so on and so forth. Section five is the hairstyle recommendation engine. And this is just the combinations of how they're going to give the recommendations. So it's not going to be random. This is the science behind how each individual is going to get a custom recommendation. So it's based off of their hair type, their hair length, and their hair texture. Section six is the hair care education section. And again, you're just going to educate them about how to take care of their hair in whichever climate you live in and whichever part of the world that you're in. Section seven, client support and easy booking assistance. Booking services, choosing services, choosing products, all that good stuff. Eight tone and style instructions for the GPT. And that is the end of the knowledge document. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that 
you're going to paste that into a Google Doc. Like I said, make your edits and adjustments and keep that there. And then you're going to actually save that as a PDF because you're going to have to upload that a bit later in this video. I'll show you how to do that. Next, we are going to create a set of instructions, right? So now we prompted now create instructions for this custom GPT. And now we get a complete set of instructions that's going to tell the GPT exactly how it should respond, what to do, what not to do, how to do it, all of that good stuff, right? So of course it needs a knowledge document, it needs information to pull from, but it also needs a set of good instructions to have those white lines that it knows it has to stay inside of. And now we can actually trust this to not do or say anything crazy because we are instructing it on how to respond and how to behave. So we have the objective. You are the virtual assistant for a luxury hair salon located in Miami, Florida. Your mission is to provide expert, friendly, and helpful advice and guidance to anyone asking about salon services, hair care, booking, or product recommendations. What you can do, answer all questions about the salon, including services, pricing, booking, policies, and product offerings. Um, and I'm just going to breeze through this, guys, because I don't want to be here all day, and I know you don't either. Tone and style, be warm, confident, and professional, key behaviors. When in doubt, ask questions to clarify hair type, lengths, goals, or preferences before making recommendations. Always educate and, rec and recommend what not to do. So this is an important one. So it's important that, you know, your GPT knows what to do, but it's more important that it knows what not to do, because especially when you're working in certain fields, you can get in legal trouble if you, you know, recommend something that you shouldn't, if you're not, you know, a licensed professional or anything like that. Shouldn't have that problem with a hair salon, but still, there's still things that you don't want it to do. So do not recommend products or services we don't offer. Do not discuss competitor salons or generic hair advice unrelated to our offerings. Do not offer medical advice or diagnose scalp slash hair conditions. Do not sound robotic or generic. Make every response feel personalized. And again, and this is the last section is what to do if unsure. So if you're unsure, you do not have enough information or if the user's request falls outside the scope of the salon, unrelated beauty advice or health issues, kindly say this. That's a great question. For personalized help, I recommend booking a quick consultation with one of our stylists. Would you like me to share the link to schedule? And there you go. Those are the instructions right there. So copy this paste this into a Google document, make whatever necessary um, adjustments you need to make, and then keep that there because we're gonna have to paste that into um, the back end of our custom GPT later on in this video. And now we need one or well, a few more things actually. So we need a description, right? So we have it here, create a description for this custom GPT. And just like that, we got our custom GPT description and Briefly, me, your personal hair expert, right from our salon in sunny Miami. This GPT is your go-to guide for everything related to our salon services, pricing, booking, and product offerings, yada, yada. And the last thing we need is our conversation starter, right? So the last prompt I did was now create a conversation starter. And it did that. So welcome to insert salon name. How can I help you today? Whether you're curious about our services, need hairstyle ideas for your hair type, or want product recommendation to beat Miami's humidity, just ask. And there you go. Now we have all of our assets that we need to actually set up this custom GPT. We made our description, instructions, created a knowledge doc, all that stuff. Now it's actually time to set it all up. So to create a custom GPT, you are going to need a paid version of ChatGPT. Cannot do this on the free version. So what we're gonna do is go to the top left, open sidebar, and we're going to go to explore GPTs. And then in the top right, we're going to go to create. And now we are going to make sure we're in configure. So we can add a profile picture right here if we want to. I'm not gonna do that. Let's just say our GPT's name, Sally Salon GPT. I know not a very creative name, but it's just for the example. Now we're going to copy and paste our description that we got from ChatGPT earlier into this box right here. So we're going to paste that in here. And then the same thing for the instructions. We're going to grab our instructions and paste that in there as well. So we're gonna make sure you put in those instructions right here, paste that in. Same thing for the conversation starters. And now going to the knowledge document, we're going to go to upload files. And then we are going to upload our knowledge document that we had saved from before. And once it's uploaded, we will have everything that we need. So now we can look here on the right hand side. And we can actually preview this GPT, right? So what kind of hairstyle should I try next? 
and just like that you guys see the answer that we get so i'd love to help you choose your next hairstyle can you tell me a little more first just share your hair type straight wavy curly or coily your hair length short medium or long your hair texture fine medium or thick any goals or style vibes low maintenance glam want volume humidity proof etc once you give me those i'll recommend the perfect styles plus tips for keeping them gorgeous in miami's heat plus humidity ready when you are so let's say we have curly hair curly hair type medium length and thick texture and let's see what kind of hair or style recommendations we get so with curly medium length thick hair here are some gorgeous and functional style ideas tailored for you and miami's climate so define layers add shapes and prevents the pyramid effect while enhancing curl definition tapered curly cut create volume on top and more control on the sides which works beautifully with miami's humidity curly shag a trendy bouncy style that embraces your curls while staying lightweight and airy super cute and easy going and there's some bonus tips but i'm not going to get into all of that but you guys can definitely see that this gpt definitely does work and let's just ask it one more question so we can see so that was a hairstyle recommendation but what about the services that this salon offers so let's ask that what services do you offer and we get our list right here and we also get the pricing as well so imagine having this on your website or you know attached to your social media pages and whenever people have questions you can just send them here or you can even have this in emails as well so people can get all of their questions answered without having to bug you while you're you know actually trying to do hair actually trying to get more clients you have an automated ai assistant that's actually doing all of this legwork for you. So this is super cool and it's definitely super useful and functional within your business. So as you guys can see, we get all of the different services right here. Haircuts, blowouts, hair coloring, treatments, extensions, viral event styling, hair consultations, and things like that. And what we're gonna do now that we know that this is working and it's working properly, I'm going to press create in the top right. And you can share the GPT. Um, you can save it to the GPT store. You can save it for anyone with a link or only just you. You're gonna save it. And like I said, I would recommend putting this on your website, you know, having this in your link tree and the link in your bio so people can get there and you can direct people to there. So you don't have to necessarily answer all these questions. And it's also gonna help you generate leads as well because it will have your booking link and your phone number and it will direct people to book a link a consultation and to call you as well. So not only is this going to be answering questions for good customer service, but it's also going to be a lead generator for you as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys hit like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.